What's up, Thinker? Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks. And today we are in a Cold War mode. Yes, I don't usually play in this mode, but I don't know. I decided to jump on here for a few games that one evening, and I'm gonna have a couple of good games in M48A5PI. Yeah, I'm not used to saying that. <laughs> I'm used to saying M48 Patton. So I guess that's what we're gonna stick to. We're gonna stick to M48 Patton. So today I'm gonna show you an excellent sporting position on Hellbron, especially utilizing those snipers in the back that are usually sitting on B line and position C9, C0, around that area there. So initially we're gonna go into those positions to see if anybody's actually gonna spot for us. So that's gonna be the initial play. But since no one's gonna move, or I'm not gonna see a lot of tanks moving to spot, I'm gonna take the spotter initiative and we're gonna get ourselves into position D9 or somewhere around there. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Actually, this play is fantastic in Cold War mode because there's no RD in Cold War mode. So you're not afraid of RD actually smashing you there. In World War II mode, it's more problematic because RD has shots into this position. So beware of that. But in this situation, no RD, so we are feeling brave and we're going to get into that position and you'll see what happens. So we get spotted here, unfortunately. Something has much better concealment than we do. But we should be able to spot them once we hit this position here. This is what I'm talking about. This position, E8, E9. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Position E8, E9. In between. Somewhere in between position E8 and E9. Right in the smack in the middle. Anyway, so you can poke over those ridge lines over here and usually spot the guys that are sitting in the back. Now, since I haven't played Cold War mode in a while, I don't really know what tanks are here. I don't know the spotting mechanics in Cold War and what tanks have what view range, what camo ratings, that kind of stuff. So I'm a little bit disoriented here because I thought I was able to spot these guys that are sitting in H7 area, but apparently not. So instead we spot this object 165. But as you can see, look at our team. And bunch of snipers sitting at B7. And then we have one tank at B0. There's another tank at C9. These are the snipers that I'm talking about. So you can take advantage of these snipers here. And just poke your turret. And let the enemy team get obliterated. So that's what we're going to do here. And obviously playing a tank with good gun depression helps here. Because of that ridge line. So you can come here in uh, Soviet medium. Or even a light tank. The problem with light tank is you have no armor. So... There's no way you can bounce any shells, at least with a medium tank or even a heavy. I've done this with a heavy in the past and it worked out really well. So you can actually get some spotting damage from here. And then you can continue your progression either to 9 and 0 lines or you can actually stick in that corridor at F7 E6 area over there as well and make your move to the other side of the map. So we're going to keep on doing this. As you notice here, we're already sitting at, what, 2800 spotting damage, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's the thing, you have to pay attention to the other side over here because these tanks will come from this area and they will get shots into your behind. So stay as close to that ridge line on the left hand side as possible. And then just poke your head out on one side of the ridge line and then on the other side of the ridge line. And you're usually going to be able to spot tanks on both sides as well as take pot shots here and there. So now we're going to move up a little bit further since our team claimed nine and zero lines pretty much so we're gonna poke up over here we're gonna see if we can spot something we spotted this t95 e3 and now we're gonna try to use this bush here and maybe fire through the bush but we didn't make it there because he dropped but we're gonna continue trying to pound them here we know he's sitting there but i don't know what our gun does here it hits the rock right in front of that t95 e3 unfortunately so we don't get that damaging hit now we see the shit barn coming or FV4005, last thing we want to do is get hit by him. So we're going to put a shell to him and drop off behind the ridge line. Fortunately, he misses us. So now we'll see if we can poke up and put some more shells into him. We notice our medium tank engaging the TD at F7. So we're going to try to poke up over here and put a shell into him. But then we see this T95E3. I don't have shots at him. So we're going to try to track this FV. Unfortunately, I don't know what happens there. No tracking shot. Thank you, Wargaming. But this Conway is still there, so we should be able to put a shell onto him. And we do, and we take him out of the game. So now, we played this a little bit aggressive, but we played it smart. We didn't overexpose too much. 
and next step here is trying to go into this area that I was telling you earlier area F7 or E6 and we're gonna try to progress to the other side of the map we're gonna turn our turret towards left side in case someone is looking at us like this Tyran and we're gonna keep going we have shots into this T95 V3 but our shell goes nowhere near him I don't know what the hell happened there but that went way outside of the aiming circle or aiming reticle and now we don't have any shots at him anymore so we're gonna continue this progression now we have to be really careful here because look at our team <laughs> one of the greenies have actually progressed from area B7 and also that medium tank at C0 there's also TD sitting at B5 and he's not even moving so even though it looks like we're winning this game I can easily find myself outnumbered in this area here so we're gonna take advantage of our friendlies that are pushing in on this side of the map we're gonna try to put some shots into these guys that are paying attention to our medium tanks so we're gonna take advantage of this situation we put a shell into this T95 E3 but we're gonna be wary and we're gonna still remain on this side so that we can run away if we need to I know I'm full health but I really don't want to go against three tanks still I mean this is gonna be a death sentence if I do that but we are trying to help our medium tank there so we put a shell into that M48 that's engaging him but now I notice that he's gonna die and it's only me here with that TD so I'm gonna drop behind the ridge line now I could have probably pushed in get my damage probably get killed in process and call it quits I already had a decent game look at this we're sitting at over well almost 8k combined damage right here so fantastic game as it is but we maintain our hit points at the same time so we should be able to survive this until the end we're still gonna play it smart but our team is pushing in at this time so there's no point beating around the bush anymore so after we took this shot we're gonna take one more at this M48 and we're gonna move up and try to clean up there we go we're moving up right now so we're not paying attention to this M48 because he's a one shot and I want more damage so if you guys are going for marks for instance damage is more important so screw it even if he hits me in the ass who cares really I'm pretty much full HP so the idea here is get as much damage out of this Tyran as possible and that's what we're gonna do can we put one more shell into him yes we can and in a split moment yes he gets taken out by our M47 and we complete this game with a victory so let's take a look at the post game stats and see how we did we finished an MVP spot with 5.5k damage 1518 base XP we also managed to put up 4.2k assisted damage out of that position which brings our total to almost 10k combined damage only class 1 for that surprisingly but I guess people are putting really good results in this tank in Cold War mode but yeah guys keep on utilizing that position either in World War 2 or in Cold War mode actually in Cold War it's probably much better because again you have no arty to shit on you that position is not already safe and you will get shit on in World War 2 but still if you are playing in a heavy tank for instance and you're going for marks that's a fantastic position to get some spotting damage over there the problem is getting to that position as you noticed earlier in game I got outspotted and focused early so that would be the only problem anyway guys I have a bonus game for you guys this one is on Pearl River so it's really not relevant to previous video however I thought I would share it with you because I think I played two or three games with this tank on that day and this is second consecutive game right after the last one and it is on Pearl River and it's gonna be a pretty decent result in this tank on this map I don't necessarily like this map after it came back into the game the changes that they made I don't know made this map a little bit too wide open for me to be honest the way it was before it was much better and this position here in town is extremely OP so whoever actually claims that position usually ends up winning the game so that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to claim that position in town in the middle of the map right here so we're gonna try to push in by ourselves but before we do that we want to make sure we have some friendlies with us because opposition usually likes pushing into this position actually both sides love pushing into this position and in many cases there is quite a big brawl here and you can die early in a game so you have to be careful about that but in this particular situation the enemy decided to 
not take the middle and that's going to be their demise because it gives us control of the map and shuts into every area of the map from here which you're gonna see me do right here now interesting in cold war the true vision i just couldn't get used to it i'm trying to figure out how my gun is moving when i try to point my gun at the tank that is not spotted just to see how much my reticle moves from side to side but we put a shell into that guy and we take him out of the game now we see this medium tank coming through the middle type 773 we're gonna put a shell into him and we're gonna change our attention to the north side of the map because we're gonna realize soon that the opposition is pushing through that area but before we do that we want to come here we want to see if we spot anything else one thing to point out especially in cold war this position is great but because of true vision you will be visible here from extremities of the map so you have to be careful not overexpose too much or check before you make your move in the open area from building to building but now we're gonna push up here we're gonna try to help our t95 e3 over here so we're gonna put a shell into this m48 in the lower plate he's focusing our t95 e3 so he's not gonna be shooting us but we're gonna focus him and he lets out the smoke but we knew his position so we managed to put a shell into his lower plate now i'm not used to playing through the smoke screen because in world war ii we don't have this so we're just gonna wait here until smoke clears before we move up further just to make sure that we don't get slaughtered by anyone looking in this direction so we're gonna poke around the corner here we spot this m48 we're gonna put another shell into him Centurion 2 puts a shield to us, but we're gonna back off here and that Tyran plays it too aggressive, way over aggressive. Actually, I could have tracked him there, but I decided to go for damage instead. So we put a damaging shell into him and now we're gonna try to push up on that M48 and the Centurion. Can we spot anything here around the corner? We spot the Centurion 2, put a shell into him. Now we're gonna back off and we thought we we're gonna get a lot more damage here from him still. But in a split moment, I think FV4005 is going to show up and completely obliterate him. <laughs> That's what happened here. Unfortunate for him. So we're going to try to move through this smoke screen and see how much visibility we have. Again, I'm not used to this. I'm not playing in this mode much at all. So pardon my confusion, you know, trying to get through it, trying to figure out how to play it. I know you can actually put shells through the smoke screen, but you cannot see, you cannot aim. So I don't really know how people do it. Do people just run right through it or what? But regardless. So now we notice that there's a heavy tank fighting a medium in the middle. We want to help him out. So we're going to try to get to that position. By the way, space, your driver is dead. Come on, heal your driver. Come on, come on, come on. I don't understand. I was sleepwalking or sleep driving over here, to be honest, guys. I'm not sure what I was doing. I didn't even realize my driver was dead. But anyway, we fix him up. He's up and he's ready to go. So now we're going to try to help our heavy deal with this M46. So we're going to put a shell into him. And he's going to get taken out in a split moment just like that. And now we're going to get ourselves back into the central position. The OP position on this map. So this M46 doesn't let me through. It seems like uh, he wants to block me up a little bit here, but then he doesn't. So I was like, okay, if you didn't block me up, I'm not going to block you up. So we're going to take the long route on the right-hand side. But here we're going to try to turn and go into that position here in front of that bush. I stop, he stops, and that's when I get frustrated. So I put a shell in his ass, and he puts one back into my wheel. And we agree to disagree, and you know. I keep moving on. I keep moving on. He's going to stay in there in that position. I think he's going to snipe from there. And we're going to try to get closer to our opposition. Now, this is going to be a bit of a dangerous play cutting through the middle here. But the idea here was to spot up whatever tanks are sitting in the back. At the same time, I have enough HP to sacrifice if I need to. I really want to get at these guys over here. I want some damage from these guys. But I didn't realize that there are three of them here. And there's also a shit barn, which is going to be problematic. I don't want to get shut down by that guy or I don't want to get overcrowded so we're just going to poke, put a shell into him and we're going to back off. There's a tank on our behind at the same time. Looks like he wanted to overexpose to put some shells into me but luckily my friendlies engaged them at the same time so we're going to try to put shell into him. 
he backed off so I don't have any shots but this M48 played it smart he was initially spotted in the middle and he moved back into this position with his friendlies which is a smart play he was able to get a little bit more damage because he figured he's gonna get overcrowded and pretty much taken out of the game you want to extend your game as much as possible guys obviously for the stats if you're going for three marks if you want to become a better player you need to figure out when to retreat tactically and when not to like in this situation you see me not going in not really pushing it hard over here because i'm still worried about those three tanks over here even though a couple of them are one shots but there's still shit barn over there and if for instance all three of them put shell into me damage me then i'll be in deep shit or in the worst case taken out of the game so that's the last thing i want so i'm gonna pick my spots here when i actually come up and shoot them luckily i do have a friendly at g7 who's putting shells into this area right here now we see this shit barn not paying attention to us so we're gonna take him out of the game now we know that this type 773 is all by himself so we don't mind losing our hp at this point we should be able to take him out so we're just gonna push him here and because he dropped too far back he got hit by our camping m46 in the middle Unfortunately, because if he did not, we would have probably gotten over 7k damage in this game. But we're still gonna end up with a very nice result. This M48 has no chance. He got taken out right there. So we complete this game with a win. Again, let's take a look at the post-game stats and see how we did. So obviously it's a victory. We finished on top of the team in MVP spot with 6.6, .6, almost 6.7k damage. Not much assisted but we are mostly damage dealer in this game. So quite a nice game. Again, surprising it's not an ace tanker, but hey, I guess people like playing M48 in era one and they must be clubbing like champions because normally with 6.7K damage in World War II, I would have gotten an ace tanker for this game. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit. Check it out.